Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 872, The Blame Game. It's beautiful outside, above freezing now for the cold overnight, and uh, gonna get into the 50s, Fahrenheit. So, very nice. Spring is coming, almost here even. <clears throat> All right, blame game. As an author, when it comes to blame, the only person to blame is you. And that's a hard that's a hard pill to swallow, as it may be, because uh, we like sharing responsibility for some of the tells and tragedies in our lives. We don't want to think that it's all our fault. But as a uh, an independent author, as a self-published author, it's still, it's got to come back to you. And that's a hard, hard thing to, to accept, especially when you're thinking you're doing everything right. Sometimes that book just doesn't sell. And coming back to you, your book doesn't sell. Blaming anyone else is fruitless. How can you? You pay $5,000 for a developmental editor and the book doesn't sell. You pay $10,000 for a variety of services, the best cover you can buy, the best uh, editing, copy editing. Oh, then you get typesetting and you get all this other stuff done. Uh, have it narrated into an audio book and it doesn't sell. Still comes back to you. It's not that the narrator did a bad job. Maybe a different narrator could have done a better job, but it still comes back to you because you selected the narrator. You wrote the you wrote the words. Hard, me. I, but I, I don't make that many mistakes. Maybe you didn't make any mistakes. Maybe the book just didn't resonate. Maybe it was a story that needed to be told, but didn't work. So you got to take responsibility, but also so you take all the credit. When the story does work, hey, it's you, but then that responsibility is best shared. Hey, I got a great cover, had great editing, editing helped make me a better writer, and next book will be even better. All of the good things that you learn from failure. I don't think you can be a great success unless you've had significant failure in your life because you can't appreciate it. If you just have success, then uh, when you do fail, it will be titanic in, in its... Uh, in its scope, success, need failure to have success. And that success is a shared victory. Because if it's look at me, 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 guess what? That looks just as bad as blaming other people. So see how it works? If it fails, it's all you. If it succeeds, it's because you're surrounded by good people. How about that? <clears throat> but that's the best thing in life and that's the best thing for you. Because if you do blame other people, how does it make you feel? Do you feel better? Oh, man, I can't believe my editor missed all of that stuff. Come on now. It makes you look petty and small. Risk versus reward. What's the risk of blaming other people? Even if there was some blame put out there, it still comes back to you. Self-published, you're the one with the file. You're the one who uploads it to, <clears throat> to uh, the distributors. And then it's you who publishes, who presses publish. So it's all your responsibility. Take it embrace it it's not overwhelming because millions of people have done it and some extremely successful authors have done it done it well done it successfully and kept moving forward you can do it too learn learn from the failure don't blame people blaming uh, uh, blaming doesn't do anything i was a uh, a leadership consultant i went into one uh, plant and i interviewed the employees as we do just to get a baseline and almost every single one blamed somebody. Oh, this is going bad. That guy over there is really bad mechanic. This guy's really bad. Now, what that does is that shows a punishment kind of culture where the leadership was just beating people and nobody wanted to take responsibility. That's not the kind of culture you want for a successful organization. That's not the kind of culture you want for your business. You want a business where everybody takes responsibility for what they're doing. Hey, I wrote that. I got input. I looked at it, I fixed it, and I moved on. And next one, I'll write even better. This one, I wrote pretty well. All right, good. Did you write with the reader in mind? Ooh, I wrote what I wanted to write. But next time, I'm going to write what I want to write, but with the reader in mind. You'll see what a difference it makes. It's all you. You own it. Take ownership. Peace, fellow humans.